Oh, hey, welcome to your practice. Today we are going to work on a total body reset. So this week I have been painting my house, the outside of the house, the fascia board. And so I've been up and down the ladder and climbing and stretching and reaching. So this practice is gonna be a total body reset. Uh, we're gonna stretch the long sides of the body. We'll work on the psoas a little bit. We'll get a few little twists in there and we're gonna reset. So my reading for you today is from the book Yoga and the Dark Night of the Soul by Simon Haas. And the reading today says, we tend to view yoga as being principally about peace and well-being. Yoga can certainly lead to these things, but it's also about facing difficulty and coming to terms with darkness and despair. The idea that yoga is about feeling good is very much a modern Western contrivance and one based largely on a culture of avoidance. Yoga doesn't assume that we won't have to face astounding ordeals at some point in our life. Rather, yoga anticipates that we will. So as yoga anticipates that we will face some challenges, it gives us the tools to help us make it through. So we're gonna get started on our backs. Oh, and I, I want you to have a bath towel. If you don't have a, a yoga blanket, I think a bath towel is gonna to be better because it's gonna be the right, um, the right roll. So we, we don't have all the props that we would have in a studio. So just grab a bath towel and we're gonna use it two different ways. And I'll get to that later when we get to that part. So let's get started on our backs. Let's start with knees bent or legs stretched out. So I'm gonna start with legs stretched out and just get the whole body comfortable, left side, right side of the body comfortable. Let's have the palms facing up. So palms up is gonna help the shoulders to roll down towards the mat. It's gonna help the front of the body to open. So just tune into the breath, see how you're breathing at this point of your day. Try to let that breathing get a little bit lower, fuller, wider, deeper into the body. So when you inhale, you can feel the belly rise gently. And when you exhale, you can feel the belly fall gently. So we're just taking a few moments of breath work here to let go of whatever we were doing before we got on the mat, but let go of whatever we were doing before we turned on the video to practice our yoga. Let's take two more nice slow breaths. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. One more. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Stretch the arms up overhead. Good, reach one side a little longer, the other side a little longer. Just stretching the side body. See how the whole body's feeling at this point. And then bring the arms to even, and we'll exhale, bring the arms down by our side. Let's. Bend the knees, feet on the floor. Pick up the hips and just lengthen the, the back. Set the hips back down. So knees bend, feet on the floor, feet about hip width apart. We're gonna warm up legs, hips, low back. So we'll inhale, with your exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Hug the knee. Tuck the chin just slightly. Relax the shoulders. Take a couple breaths into the belly, into the back body. And then we're going to stretch that right foot up to the ceiling. Circle the right ankle in one direction. Let your toes move around a bit. Take the circle in the opposite direction. Couple point and flex the right foot. Nice stretch on this right leg, working the right ankle the right foot flexed. Inhale with your exhale, 
Bring the right knee back into the chest. Keep the right foot flexed. On your next exhale, lift your head up towards the right knee. Shoulders down, neck long, big breaths. You can keep the left knee bent, left foot on the floor, or if it feels okay to the low back and the hips, you can stretch the left leg out on the mat. So if you stretch that left leg out, we're gonna lengthen all the way down the back of the left leg through the heel. Your left toes will be up towards the ceiling. Shoulders relax down. You can bring a hand behind the head, behind the neck if you want a little support. Belly button pulls down towards the spine. Waistline presses down towards the floor. So don't let the low back arch. Big breaths. Inhale, lower the head. We'll bring right foot to the mat. Both knees bend, both feet on the floor. We'll rock the hips side to side. Bring the knees to center, inhale. With your exhale, left knee comes into the chest, hug the knee. Tuck the chin slightly, relax the shoulders. A couple breaths here. And then we'll stretch the left foot up to the ceiling. Let's circle the left ankle in one direction. Let your toes wiggle around. Take the circle in the opposite direction. Point and flex the left foot. Yep, stretch all the way up and down the left leg. Keep the left foot flexed. Inhale with your exhale. Bring the left knee back into the chest. Left toes still up towards the ceiling. Inhale and with your next exhale, lift your head up towards the left knee. Shoulders down, neck long. Keep the right knee bent or if it feels okay, right leg stretches out on the mat. So if you stretch that right leg out, keep pushing through the right heel, right toes up towards the ceiling, and we're engaging the abdominals. We're pressing the waistline down towards the floor as we take big, slow breaths into the low belly. Inhale, lower the head. We'll bring left foot to the mat, both knees bend, feet on the floor. We'll rock the hips side to side a couple times. Just feel that little massage on the low back. Bring the knees to center, inhale. With your exhale, both knees come into the chest. We'll hug the knees. We're gonna roll the whole back, side to side. Shoulders and hips roll to the side. Go as far over, as little over, as fast or as slow as feels good for you. Just bringing some circulation, some energy into the back. Bring the knees to center. We'll stretch both feet up to the ceiling. Feet hip width apart. Feet flexed. We'll go into a little yoga walk. One knee bends, opposite foot stretches up to the ceiling. Just working out the legs, working out the hips. All right, let's bring both knees back into the chest. Feet flexed, it's gonna give our calves a nice stretch. Inhale, with your next exhale, lift your head up towards the knees, shoulders down, neck long, big breaths into the low belly. You can bring one hand behind the neck if you want a little bit of support here. I'm trying to compress the belly with the thighs and take big breaths at the same time. So a little harder to take those big breaths here because we're compressing the belly, but that's where all the internal organs get all that good work, get that massage, get that squeeze and release with each breath cycle. Inhale, lower the head. Use your abdominals, don't let the back arch. We're gonna bring the feet down to the floor. They can come down one at a time, so control the movement. Good. Once the feet are down on the floor, one at a time, stretch the legs out. Good. Arms at your side, palms up. Tuck the shoulders under a little bit, and just take a couple breaths here. Let everything relax for a moment. All right, then we're gonna re-bend the knees, feet on the floor. We're gonna roll over onto our side. Come all the way up into hands and knees, table pose. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll take a couple of cat breaths. So let's exhale, round the spine up, tuck the chin, pull the belly up. Inhale, tilt the hips, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch the spine. Take one more of those. Exhale, round. Inhale and arch. Good. Come 
into neutral. We're going to drop down to our elbows. Measure the elbows. So wrap the fingers around the elbows. We want our shoulders stacked right over the elbows. Plant the elbows there. We're going to bring the hands forward. Let's interlace the fingers. Tuck the chin. So the back of the neck neutral. Your spine is neutral. We're going to inhale, shift the weight of the body forward a little bit. Exhale, shift the weight of the body back a little bit. So some slow movements forward and back. So working the shoulders, working the hips, working the core, working all those muscles along the back. Inhale when you come forward slightly. Exhale when you shift back. Keep the belly button pulling up towards the spine. Uh, now come to neutral. We're going to come back up to hands and knees. Table. Good. Let's stretch the right leg back behind you. So toes are curled under on the mat. Just getting a nice stretch on the back of that right leg. So keep pushing that right heel back behind you. Opening up the right hip. Good. Let's pick up the right foot. Keep that right leg straight. Pick up the foot and bring it over to the left. Toes are still curled under. The right heel still pushing away from you. Shoulders are still over the wrist. And then let's turn and look to the right. So we get this, I'm sorry, turn and look to the left. So we're getting this big stretch on the right side. Keep breathing here. Let's bring the head back to center. Bring the right knee next to the left. We'll do that on the other side. So left leg's gonna stretch back behind you. Toes are curled under on the mat. We're gonna push the left heel away from you. So big opening. On that left hip, we get a nice stretch down the left leg. Shoulders are over the wrist. And now we're gonna pick up that left foot, bring it over to the right. So it's off the mat, toes are curled under, and then turn your head to the right. So we get a nice stretch all the way down that left side. Keep breathing here. Good, and then bring the head back to center. Bring the left knee next to the right. Three cat breaths. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. One more. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. And then shift back into child's pose. Big toes barely touching. Let the knees separate apart a little bit. Bring the forehead down to rest somewhere, maybe stacking the hands on top of each other and then the forehead rests on the hands, or the forehead can rest all the way on the mat. So just breathe into the low back. Breathe into the ribs, breathe into the shoulders. Let that breath fill the rib cage and, and massage all those muscles in the back. And come back up into hands and knees table. So if you have yoga blocks at home, grab the yoga blocks. If you don't, I've got some big books here. So you can always take these big books, right, and use them as yoga blocks. So they're not gonna be as easy to move as yoga blocks are, because yoga blocks are pretty light. But you can take these big books, just trying to kind of get them even. I think that looks better there. Okay, so using blocks, or books, or maybe you don't need them and your hands will come all the way down to the mat. So I'm gonna use blocks since I have them at home. I'm gonna put them in the medium height, medium setting. I'm gonna go into a lunge. So we're gonna bring the right foot forward between the blocks. You want the right knee over the right heel. I'm gonna curl the left toes under and scoot that left knee as far back as it'll go behind the left hip. So we've got a nice stretch on the whole front of that left thigh. So right knee over, right heel. Inhale, with your exhale, we're gonna lean back and bow towards the right knee. So the right toes can lift or they can stay down. We're gonna hold here for a couple breaths. So we're getting a nice stretch in the back of this right leg. Inhale, come forward, chin lifts, the spine is long. So we feel a nice stretch on the front of the left hip and thigh. So we're gonna move with our breath. Exhale and shift back. Inhale when you come forward. 
Exhale, shifting back, bowing over that right knee. The chin tucks, the spine is rounded. And then inhale, come forward, chin lifts, spine long. Let's take one more of those. Exhale and round back. Inhale, come forward. We'll stay forward. We want that right knee over the heel, so double check that. We're going to keep the left hand on the block. We'll bring the right hand to the right hip. We're going to go into a, a little twist. So inhale first and exhale, turn to the right. So we're going to turn to the right. We'll roll that right shoulder back. Couple breaths. We're letting this right thigh pull into the belly. So as we breathe, that right side of the belly pressing into the thigh, really good for all our internal organs and our digestion and elimination. So right hand can stay on the right hip or the right fingers can reach for the left thigh. So just see, see how it feels. Right hip or left thigh. Good, inhale, with your exhale, let's bring that right hand back to the block. We're gonna shift back one more time. So bowing towards that right knee. Good, breathing. Let the back of the right leg get a nice stretch. And then come forward. We're going to bring the right knee back by the left. Good. Let's just shift the hips a little side to side. Bring the hips to neutral, to center. We're going to do that on the other side. So left foot's going to come forward between the blocks. Left knee over the left heel. I'm going to curl the right toes under and then move that right knee back as far as it'll go behind the right hip. So I'm now getting a Nice stretch on the whole front of the right thigh. Good. Inhale, with your exhale, we're gonna lean back and bow towards the left knee. So left toes can lift or they can stay down. We're gonna hold here for a couple breaths. Getting a nice stretch now on the whole back of that left leg. Now we're gonna move with breath. So inhale, come forward, chin lift, spine long. Good. Exhale. Leaning back around the spine, tuck the chin. So just forward and back with breath. Inhale when you come forward. Exhale when you shift back. Let's take one more of those. Inhaling forward, exhaling, shifting back. Good. Next time you're forward, we'll stay forward. Make sure left knee is over left heel. Keep the right hand on the block or on the floor or on the books. Left hand's gonna come to the left hip. We're gonna go into our twist. So inhale first, and as you exhale, turn to the left. We're gonna pull the left thigh in towards the belly. The left hand can stay on the left hip, or the left hand can reach for the back of the right leg, the back of that right thigh. So whatever feels best to the upper body, shoulder, big breaths. Gonna inhale, bring the left hand back to the block. And then exhale, we're gonna lean back and bow towards that left knee one more time. So a little bit more stretch on the back of that left leg. Good. And then inhale, come forward. We're gonna bring that left knee back by the right, hands on the blocks or the floor or your books. We're gonna shift the hips a little side to side. Bring the hips to neutral, shift back into child's pose. Big toes barely touching, let the knees separate apart a little bit. Let's wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. Come to neutral. Let's come up to our elbows. So we have that like sphinx arm. So our shoulders are over our elbows, palms flat on the floor. We're gonna go into a little side twist. So keep the left elbow, left palm down, and then slide the right palm in front of the right knee. And then we're gonna inhale and lift that right shoulder up and turn to the right. So keep pressing that right hand into the floor. So it's a little twist, a little shoulder work, a little upper back work. A couple more breaths here. Good, and then we're gonna bring that right elbow, right palm down, 
keep it down on the floor. Slide the left palm in front of the left knee. We're gonna inhale and lift that left shoulder, reaching that left shoulder up towards the ceiling, turning, looking to the left, left palm pressing into the floor, big breaths into the low belly, big breaths into the back body. Good, and then inhale, come down. Good. One more time, into child's pose. Wobble the hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good, if you had blocks or books up in front, just go ahead and set them off to the side. We're gonna go into a downward dog. So from child's pose, stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows are up off the mat, but your bottom is still close back towards the heels. Come up into your hands and knees table. You can walk those knees a little closer together. Take a look at the hands, fingers spread nice and wide, because that's the foundation of your pose here in the front. So curl the toes under, inhale with your exhale, lift up and shift back into a downward dog. Spread the toes out on the mat. So that's the foundation there in the back. A little bend in the knees, tuck the chin, and then lift the sits bones up towards the ceiling. Belly pulls in and up. Let's walk it out a little bit. One heel lowers, the other heel lowers, just stretching out the backs of the legs. Good. Notice which side feels a little different. Notice what's going on in the body. Let's bring the heels to even and then come down to knees. Shift back into child's pose. A few wrist circles or wiggle the fingers and then let the forehead rest. Wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. Come to neutral. We're going to come up to a high kneeling pose. So We'll have our hips right over our knees. We're gonna go into a pose called gate pose. So really nice stretch for the side body, for the inner thighs, for the upper back. So we'll keep the left knee down and then the right leg is gonna come out to the right. You're gonna bend the ankle. If that feels okay to the ankle, we'll point those toes forward. If that doesn't feel okay, the right toes can point just straight out to the right. So I'm gonna bend my right ankle. I'm gonna keep this left hip over the left knee. Right hand is on the right leg, so I'm already feeling a nice stretch on this inner right thigh. I'm gonna inhale the left arm up, and exhale, relax the left shoulder down. Good, inhale again. As you exhale, we're gonna lean to the right, so that right hand can slide down the leg a little bit. Good, so I'm getting a nice stretch on the inner right thigh, nice stretch on the left side of the rib cage. And make sure that the left arm is over the left ear. So we don't want the arm forward. Try to have it over the left ear. If that doesn't feel good to the left shoulder, left hand can just come to the left hip. So see what feels best for you. So if you've got this left arm reaching over to the right, the left arm over the left ear, try bending the left elbow and bring the left hand to the back of the head. And then just gently lean the head back into the hand. So you'll feel a nice big opening in that left shoulder. Big breaths. Good. Keep your balance. Good. Let's nice and slow. Bring the left arm down. Good. Come back up to center and then bring the right knee <clears throat> next to the left. Good. And we're going to do that on the other side. So the left leg is going to come out to the left. Bend the ankle if that feels okay, or the toes can point straight out. Right hip's gonna stay over the right knee. Left hand on the left leg. We're gonna inhale the right arm up. Exhale, relax, right shoulder down. Inhale again, exhale, lean to the left. So the left hand can slide down the leg a little bit. Right arm is over the right ear, so make sure it's not coming forward. It's right over the ear. If that doesn't feel good to the shoulder, right hand can come to the right hip. Good. Big breaths. If you've got that right arm up over the right ear, try bending the right elbow and bring the right hand to the back of the head. And then just gently lean the head back into the hand so we can really feel that in the upper back and shoulder. It's a nice big stretch. This inner left thigh getting a stretch, this right rib cage getting a stretch. Big breaths, don't hold the breath. 
Nice and slow, bring that right arm down by your side, back up to center, and then we'll bring the left knee next to the right. We're gonna come back up into our hands and knees table pose. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, fingers spread nice and wide, index fingers parallel. We'll take three cat breaths. Exhale, round the spine up, inhale, arch, up, exhale, round, Inhale, arch. One more. Exhale, round the spine. Pull your belly button up towards the ceiling. Inhale, arch. Good. Shift back into child's pose for just a couple breaths. And wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. We're going to take one more downward dog. So downward dog is such a, an amazing stretch, right? So it stretches the arms, the shoulders, the back, the hips, the head is lower than the heart. So we get this slight inversion and all that blood coming to the head is great for the eyes and great for the skin and great for the hair and great for the brain. Uh, works our core, uh, the legs, the arches get a stretch. So many people suffer from that plantar fasciitis. So Downward dog is such a great stretch. Um, I've heard it called the garlic of yoga. So like when we're cooking, we always throw a little garlic in. And so, um, you know, what's a yoga practice without a little downward dog? So let's take a nice downward dog from child's pose. Stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows off, off the mat. Come into your hands and knees and walk the knees a little closer together. Fingers spread nice and wide. So we wanna set up our poses with a really good foundation. Curl the toes under, inhale with your exhale, lift up and now shift back. So we're bringing the head in between the arms. Good, we're putting a little bend in the knees and we'll lift the sits bones up towards the ceiling. So we get a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Belly button pulls in and up. We're pressing the hands into the floor so pressing the floor away from us and the shoulders move away from the floor let's walk it out a little bit one heel lowers the other heel lowers such a great stretch for the whole body total body reset here bring the heels level with each other come down to knees shift back into child's pose do wrist circles or wiggle the fingers and then rest the forehead for just a couple breaths breathe into the low back Breathe into the rib cage, breathe into the shoulders. Good. Now we're gonna come back up to our hands and knees table. We're gonna go into squat pose. So curl your toes under, walk the hands back so you're balancing on toes and fingertips. Well, from here, we're gonna go into a standing forward fold. So we're gonna lift the hips up, heels come down. Widen your feet a little wider than the hips. Keep a little bend in the knees. Bring hands to up above the knees and lift the chest into a halfway lift. Pull the belly button up towards the spine and squeeze shoulder blades together. With strong legs and a long spine, we're gonna hinge up all the way up to standing. Adjust the clothing, shake it out a little bit. Just shaking it out. Once you get up to standing, just letting everything kind of settle. Just kind of bounce it out around a little bit. Good. Let's have the feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, knees pointing straight ahead, thighs engaged. So we kind of firm up those thighs, belly pulls in, belly pulls up. We'll take three sun breaths. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands down. So legs strong. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Good. One more inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Good. We'll keep the hands down. A few shoulder rolls up and back and down. Up and back and down. Up, back, down. See what the range of motion is in those shoulders. Good. And then alternate one back and the other back. Good. Shake out the arms. Let's have arms by our side. Turn the palms forward and then back. Forward and back. So just a little shoulder rotation. Good. 
shake out the arms. Inhale the arms to shoulder level, palms down. A little bit more of that shoulder rotation, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. One more, palms up, palms down, and lower the arms all the way down by your side. Separate the feet a little wider than hip width, a few side swings, let the opposite heel lift as the arms are floppy. They hit you in the side, they hit you in the waist. So we're not holding any tension in the shoulders. Belly pulls in and up a little bit to support the spine. So this helps the waistline. This helps lower the blood pressure. It's just kind of a, a nice release. Release that tension in the whole body. Good, let everything come to center. We're gonna go one more time uh, um, to work the side body in from the standing pose. So toes pointing straight ahead, knees pointing straight ahead, feet hip width apart, arches lift a little bit. We're gonna inhale, arms up, palms face. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Now bend your elbows and bring hands to opposite elbows. So like you're framing the head, like a little picture frame for the head. So we want the arms right by the ears. So try not to have the arms forward. And if this doesn't feel good, you can, you can have hold fingers, you can hold wrists. So whatever um, distance you need, good. Inhale, with your exhale, we're gonna lean to the right. Good, so we're compressing all these organs on the right side and we're opening up that left side. Couple big breaths. Now, as we're leaning right, Press that left foot a little firmer into the floor. Couple breaths here. So really stretching that left side. Good, inhale, come to center. Exhale, lean to your left. Good, so make sure the arms are right by the ears, even if you have to separate the hands a little bit more or separate the elbows a little bit more. As we're leaning left, push that right foot down into the floor. So a big stretch on this right side. We're compressing the left side. Big breaths here. Good, inhale, come to center. Exhale, both arms come down. And we're good to shake that out, adjust the clothing, shake it out a little bit. Let's kind of bounce it out a little bit. So this gets the synovial fluid in between the, in the joints, gets that synovial fluid kind of um, working to lubricate the joints. All right, so we're gonna go into a uh, pose, um, kind of a variation of pyramid pose. So we're gonna to step towards the front of our mat. We're gonna step back with our left foot, okay? So there's a little bit of space between the feet. My left toes are angled out at like a, a, a little 45 degree angle maybe. Right toes pointing straight ahead. And I've got uh, the hips squared forward. Okay. If I had a flashlight on each of my hips, they'd be shining straight ahead. So I'm going to turn this way so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. So feet a little bit apart. I'm not heel to heel or heel to arch. Feet a little bit apart. Okay. If I had a flashlight on the hips, these flashlights are shining straight ahead. I'm trying to not let them shine over to the left. So I'm pulling this right hip back a little bit and squaring the left hip forward a little bit. I'm gonna keep this right leg straight, hands on the hips. Keep your back nice and long, the neck nice and long. Imagine you have kind of a board on your back from your head all the way down to the tailbone. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna hinge from the hips. Exhale, hinge forward. Good, so we're gonna feel this nice stretch all the way down the back of the right leg. I'm pulling that right hip back a little bit and the, those flashlights are shining straight down. So what we don't want is that left hip rotating up because now the light would be shining off to the left. So I'm having those hips level, right hip pulls back a little bit. Spine is long. We can keep the hands on the hips or you can reach back and bring hands and grab opposite elbows or grab opposite wrists. So keep the spine long. We're not rounding. We've got a nice long spine. Good. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. So support the back by using your core. Nice and slow. We're gonna inhale, come up. 
and we're going to drop the arms, shake it out, bend that right knee a little bit, and then push off and step forward. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to do that on the other side. So the right foot's going to step back. I've got a little bit of space between the feet. Right toes are angled out to the right a little bit. And I'm squaring up the hips. So if I have headlights on the hips, they're pointing straight ahead. We're going to hinge from the hips. So hands on the hips, nice long back, nice long neck. Inhale, and as you ex exhale from the hips, you're hinging forward. So maybe you're about parallel to the floor, maybe you're higher, doesn't matter how far you go. What we're looking for is those hips to be squared. So left hip's gonna pull back a little bit, right hip's gonna come forward a little bit, and we don't want that right hip lifting to the right, right? Because then the headlights are shining that way. So we want those sh headlights shining right down to the floor. We can keep hands on the hips, or we can reach back and grab opposite elbows or opposite wrists. So feel that spine, belly pulls in and up. The left hip keeps shifting back a little bit. We're getting a nice big stretch in the back of the left leg. Strong legs, big breaths. Let's make sure the toes are not clenching. Good, nice and slow. Inhale, come up. Drop the arms, bend the front knee a little bit, push off, step forward. Good, shake it out. Bounce it out a little bit. Separate the feet as wide as the mat, a few side swings. Let the belly pull in and up, arms floppy. Let the opposite heel lift to release the hips. Good. So we're gonna take that same stance with our feet and we're gonna take it into a warrior one pose okay so we're standing forward we're gonna step the left foot back we got a little space in between the feet right so we're not lining up heel and arch or heel and heel for this warrior one we're gonna bend the right knee so those back toes left toes kind of angled out same thing we're pulling that right hip back a little bit our right knee is over our right heel good we're gonna inhale, the arms up, palm space. Exhale, relax, shoulders down. So the belly's gonna pull in and up. Good. Now bend the elbows and bring the fingertips to the back of the head and pull the elbows back. So we're getting this nice stretch on the front of the chest. We pull those elbows back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Belly pulls in and up. So we're gonna work on this left psoas, left hip flexor. Inhale, as you exhale, we're gonna tilt to the right. So keep pushing that left heel back behind you, the left thigh, left calf pushes back behind you. Nice opening on the left hip as we tilt to the right. So we're not tilting forward, okay? We're opening that front body and just tilting to the right. Couple big breaths. Inhale, come to forward. Exhale, drop the arms. One more time, we're gonna push off and then step forward. Good. Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna do the other side. So the right foot is gonna step back. Right toes angle out to the right a little bit. We're gonna bend the left knee, left knee over the left heel, pull the left hip back a little bit, square the right hip forward. So those headlights pointing straight ahead. Good. We're gonna inhale, arms up, palm space. Exhale, relax, shoulders down. Belly pulls in and up. We're gonna bend the elbows, bring the fingertips to the back of the head. Inhale, as you exhale, we're gonna to tilt to the left. So now we're getting this nice big stretch all the way down the right side. Keep pulling the left hip back a little bit and square the right hip forward, big breaths here. That right leg, keep pushing that right thigh, right calf back behind you. Big breaths, we're not leaning forward, right? We're opening the front of the body. We're gonna inhale and come to center. Exhale, arms come down by your side. Inhale, and with your exhale, push off, step forward. Good. Shake it out. And just bounce it out a little bit. Good. Separate the feet, few side swings. Belly pulls in and up. Good. Let that slow down. We're gonna come all the way down onto our mat, and we're gonna use our towel, our bath towel. 
So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fold it for this first one. So for the first one, we're gonna take the towel, okay, fold it in half. Okay. We're gonna fold it in half again. So now it's in this shape, and we're gonna to start to roll it up. So you've got a roll that looks a little bit like that. Okay. And we're, what we're gonna be doing, now if you have a block, you can use a block, but um, we're gonna be putting that underneath the hips. Okay. So we're gonna sit on this blanket roll, gonna come down onto our back and lift the hips so we're, slight, we're sort of in a supported bridge. So we've got this blanket roll under the hips, the knees are bent, feet on the floor, and we're just gonna take a few breaths here in this supported bridge. Just feel the low back, the sacrum. So we have this blanket roll, this towel roll under the low back, under the hips, under the sacrum. So it's not into my waistline, it's on my very low back, the sacrum. And we're gonna work the side body a little bit. So try stretching the right leg out on the mat and just let the right leg relax, the right toes might fall out to the right a little bit. We'll keep the left knee bent, left foot on the floor. Good, just letting this whole right side stretch. If it feels okay, stretch the right arm up overhead. So this nice big stretch on the right side of the body. Just relax and breathe. Let the, the hip relax, let the shoulder relax. The psoas muscle is getting a nice stretch, a nice release here. If you lifted that right arm up overhead, bring the right arm down by your side, re-bend the right knee. So right foot on the floor. So now both knees bent, both feet on the floor. We're gonna take that onto the other side. So try stretching the left leg out. Your left heel will be on the ground. Left toes will kind of just fall out to the left and we get a nice opening on this left hip. If it feels okay, try stretching the left arm up overhead. So we're just letting everything relax, letting everything stretch. A couple big breaths here. Breathe into that low back, into that sacrum area. So the sacrum is the last five vertebra of the spinal column. They, they fuse into a flat bony plate ending with the tailbone. So that's where we're resting this uh, towel roll on right now. If you've got that left arm up overhead, go ahead and bring the left arm down by your side. Rebend the left knee, so both feet on the floor, both knees bent, feet on the floor. Good. Now, if it feels okay, try to lift the left foot up. Your left calf will be parallel to the floor. My left knee is kind of in a uh, 90 degree angle. And then try lifting the right foot up. So we're resting that low back on the, the towel roll and the calves are parallel to the floor. The knees are stacked over the hips. So we're working the core a little bit here. We're working that very low back. So letting that low back kind of open up and spread out. So now one at a time, let's bring the left foot down first. Bring the right foot down. Good. Just take the knees a little side to side. Now we're gonna try, if it feels okay, try stretching the right leg out and the left leg out. Now if that doesn't feel good, go back to both knees bent or go back to doing one leg stretched out and then the other leg stretched out like we did before. If this is feeling okay, we're getting a nice stretch in the front of the hips. We can try stretching both arms up overhead. Good, a couple breaths here. Good, and then we're gonna bring the arms down by our side. Rebend the knees, feet on the floor. Feet are gonna be hip width apart, walk the feet back towards the hips. We're gonna lift up off of this towel roll. So press the feet into the floor, lift the hips up, and then we're gonna slide that towel roll 
out and then lower the hips all the way down to the spine. Good, we'll bring the knees into the chest, hug the knees, we're gonna roll side to side. So roll hips and shoulders side to side. Bring the knees to center, hands on the knees, keep the knees together. We're gonna circle both knees in the same direction. So nice and slow, get a nice little circular pressure point massage on the low back. So just circling those knees in the same direction. Good, now let's go take the circle in the opposite direction. So knees stay together and they both go now in this opposite direction. Good. Bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals. We're going to bring the feet down to the mat. Good. Going to roll over onto your side. And we're going to unfold this towel and we're going to use it one more way. So we're going to unfold it, unroll it, and we've got it back into this shape. And then I'm going to take it and make it into a long roll. So roll it pretty tight. Don't let it be loose. Roll it pretty tight. All right, so we got it there. We're going to bring it all the way up to the top of the mat. And this end here, we're going to sit down at this end. And this end here is going to go up to the low back. So we're going to sit down here at this end. This bottom is going to kind of snuggle up to the low back. So just kind of adjust, and then we're going to lay down over this towel roll. So the shoulders are going to kind of roll off. So this, the towel roll is the length of the spine. My head's still on the towel. I'm going to take the knees together, knees a little wide, knees a little bit away from the hips, arms at my side, palms up. So this is letting the whole front of the body open up, it's letting the Upper back be supported and those shoulders roll off to each side of the towel. So a really nice opening here on the front of the body, real nice support for the upper back. And with the knees together, feet a little wide is called constructive rest, really nice for the low back and the sacrum. So palms are up, just a couple nice breaths here. Letting the chest open, the heart open, the lungs open. Breathe into the low belly. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly relaxes. Let the eyes relax, let the jaw relax. We'll stay here for just a couple more breaths. This is a really great, especially if you're working from home, you might be on the computer all day long, or you might have been doing things around the house, cleaning things out, or painting like I was. This is just a really nice reset for the upper back and the low back. So nice and slow, just roll to one side and Pull that towel roll out. So just roll to one side and then come all the way down onto the back. Good. And then hug the knees into the chest. We're going to roll side to side. So just giving that back body a little massage now. Good. Bring everything to center. Use your abdominals. We're going to bring feet down to the floor into a little twist before we go into our final relaxation. So we're going to cross the right leg over the left. So the thighs are touching or they're close to touching. Just going to rock the hips a little side to side. So we keep that left foot planted and we just let the knees move a little to the left, a little to the right. And just feel that on the low back. It feels kind of nice on the low back. Now the next time the knees go to the right, we're going to let them hover to the right. But don't shift the left foot. Don't try to move the left foot, the placement of the left foot on the mat. The outside edge of the left foot can lift up. 
but we're not shifting the placement of the left foot in order to get the knees further over to the right. So we get a nice stretch on this left side. You might feel it somewhere differently. I'm feeling a nice stretch on this left side. If it feels okay, bring the arms up overhead a little bit so the elbows bent. And just getting a nice opening on that front body, the top upper body, and a little twist on the lower body. Big breaths into the low belly. So when we inhale, the belly expands. When we exhale, the belly relaxes. Try not to hold any tension. The knees are just kind of hovering over to the right. There's no goal. Just to feel, just to breathe. Nice and slow, bring the knees back to center. Bring the arms back down by our side. We're going to uncross the legs, adjust hips and shoulders so you're even on the mat. And then we'll do the other side. So left leg crosses over the right. Thighs are touching or close to it. We're just going to rock the hips a little side to side. Nice and slow. Going to the right, going to the left. See if now this side feels a little different than the other side, the first side. Feel that on the low back. Now, keep that right foot where it is. The next time the knees go to the left, we're gonna let them kind of hover over there to the left. So we're not gonna move the placement of the right foot. The outside edge of the right foot can lift, but we're not gonna move where the foot is on the mat. And those knees just kind of hover over to the left. Now see where you feel it, maybe on this right side. Big breaths into the low belly. If it feels okay, arms can come up overhead a little bit. Maybe cactus arms, maybe out into a T position. See what might feel good for the upper body. Big, slow breaths into the low belly. Just breathe, just feel. Nice and slow, bring the knees back to center. Uncross the legs, arms come back down by your side. Pick up the hips a little bit, set them back down, adjust hips and shoulders, hug the knees into the chest. Hands on the knees, we're gonna circle the knee. We're gonna make separate circles with the knees. So the knees move apart and then together, apart and then together with the hands on the knees. So nice for the hips and the low back. And if your shoulders get a little bit of work here too with the hands on the knees, that upper back and the shoulders get a little bit of movement. Take those circles in the opposite direction. All right, let's bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals, don't let the back arch. Feet come down to the mat. Set up for our final relaxation. So whatever would feel good, knees bent. You could take that towel roll and put it under the knees. You could go back into that constructive rest. I'm gonna stretch the legs out, <clears throat> arms at my side. Tuck the chin a little bit, shoulders tuck under a little bit, palms up. So just get the upper body comfortable, the lower body comfortable. Take a few nice, long, slow breaths. Letting all the movement, all the poses, everything we worked on, let it just settle into the body, into the muscle memory. Let it settle into the physical body and the energy body. Letting the body reset, total body reset. Eyes relax, jaw relaxes, shoulders relax, back relaxes, hips relax, arms and legs relax. 
Inhale, we feel the belly rise gently. Exhale, we feel the belly fall gently. And we'll bring a little bit of movement to the fingers, to the toes, to the arms, to the legs. Maybe a stretch if you'd like one more stretch. And then when you're ready, knees bend. You're going to roll over onto your side nice and slow. And then use your strong arms, come up nice and slow all the way up to seated. Sitting however is comfortable for your legs. It can be cross-legged, kneeling, feet out in front. Get that spine nice and tall. So tailbone moves back slightly, heart lifts slightly, belly pulls in and up slightly. Shoulders relax down, neck long. Feel good and grounded down through the sit bones. Find that breath, let it come into the low belly. So full, big belly breaths once more. We'll bring the palms together, thumbs at the heart. And this ends our practice today. Namaste. I hope your body had a total body reset. I think mine did. Until next time. Bye.